Hello and welcome to a new episode about Blender. In this episode we are going to talk about creating parametric furniture. Well, not actually parametric, it's not parametric, but that's the way everybody calls it, so I'll call it that way too. What I'm talking about is the furniture made out of slices. I'll show you how I make such pieces in Blender and how I generate the path for the CNC. So let's draw a cube, press N to show the transform menu and let's give it some dimensions. And we are going to work on this cube in order to get the shape that we want to cut. Get into edit mode, select everything, make sure all the faces are selected. If they are not selected, just press Ctrl L to select all the linked faces. Right click, subdivide, do it again. And I have enough uh, edges to be able to drag them around and get the shape that I want. Let's go back into object mode. I don't like it to be a cube. I want it to be some fluid shape. So go to the modifiers tab, press add modifier, search for subdivision surface. Leave it with Catmull Clark, select it and change the levels to 4. I think it's enough. And now let's go back into edit mode and drag all these lines around. Switch between vertex face or edge select mode to obtain the shape that I want. If I have problems with the selection, I will uncheck the X-ray and now I can easily modify everything. Go to move, drag them around. You can see that I already have a shape that kind of looks like an armchair. I've lowered the face too much and this edge will leave a sharp part here. So let's press two to change to edge select mode select these edges too and move them also these two so they then don't overlap it will result in some problems later if they overlap so now let's drag them around if i want to modify the lines that are hidden into the object i can go back to x-ray mode and you can see i can now select them easily This is the part where everything is random, you just need to obtain a shape that you are satisfied with. Switch from face selection to edge selection until you get the desired shape. Now go back into object mode and let's get to the most important part to the slicing first of all let's move it into positive x and y press on the z to get a top view hit it in the positive press on the y to get a side view raise it to be above zero on the z axis and now let's create a new cube which will be the slicer, the piece that we are going to slice this with. Just go to the dimensions, to the transform menu. If it doesn't show up, you can press N to hide or show it. On the X, it will have a distance of 18 millimeters. I want the space between slices to be equal to the thickness of the slice. So if I'm using 18 millimeters plywood, I will make this piece 18 millimeters thick. Now change to side view, turn on the x-ray so i can see the object in the back i just want to make sure that the slicer covers the entire area of the object so the object is visible only through this layer let's make it a little smaller on the y and now i have to move it you can see the front wouldn't be sliced in this positioning so let's just move it i think i made it a little bit too small Move it a little lower just to make sure the entire object is covered by this piece. Move it closer and just change it until it barely touches the surface. Now this is the start position. Go to the modifiers for this cube and search for array. Change the type fit length and make the length equal to the length of the object that we want to slice. It is a 1087 millimeters on the X. So go back to the array and change the length to 
1200 just to make sure it will cover the entire object and leave it to relative offset and I will change the factor to 2 because I want to have the space between this slice is equal to the thickness of the slice. If I'm going to change later the thickness or I want a different space between them, I can modify the factor. I entered here 1200 millimeters and it should have covered the entire object, but it doesn't. That's because the object is scaled. I cannot change the scale, so I will just divide this by the 0.393 and now it covers the entire object as you can see even a little bit longer the entire length is 1200 millimeters because the scaling factor is put back here as I have just shown you you can use math operands inside the fields because I have a cube and a cube 001 I don't like this so I will double click to rename it couch and cutter so now let's do the actual slicing i will select the couch click on add modifier search for the boolean modifier scroll down to it and the operand should be the cutter it takes a little bit of time to make the cut and now you can see by looking at the selection that the object remaining is just between these slices so i can hide the cutter and take a look at the very nice couch that we have just created let me just turn off the x-ray this is what will turn out in the end we still need to do something to make some holes for the connectors switch the view to minus x to make sure you can see everything and let's add some cylinders i will place a connector here another one here and most probably we need another one let's just create it here and we'll move it later to make sure it's on the correct plane and now let's move this one to the back this one here and this one here let's give them some dimensions i will use 30 millimeters rods so the X and the Y should be 30. Let's do the same for the other objects. And now I want to resize them on the Z. 1200 millimeters. Now I need to make sure they go through the entire body. So switch to the top view by pressing on the Z and slide it to the right to make sure it goes all the way through the object that's kind of all that I need and now let's repeat the intersection select the couch add another modifier another boolean it moves kind of slow I will show you how to make everything faster but you won't be able to undo some things so I can either use an object or a collection if using an object I will have to make three booleans for one for each of the three rods so let's just go here to the scene collection click on new collection rename it rods and move the three cylinders by selecting them and dragging them to the rods group now go back to the couch to the modifiers to the bottom boolean and instead of object I will select collection so it takes a lot of time for each click how do I speed things up go to the first modifier and click on apply it will take some time but this will be the last time it will move so slow because each modifier that I add would make all the other modifiers recompute for every click I want to be able to modify the thickness of the slices and the space between them so I will leave this modifier unapplied for now go to the second modifier to the second boolean select the collection rods now it is ready you can't see much of a difference because these rods are still visible so go to the collection and switch them off now all the slices have some holes in them for this project i'm just going to leave straight cuts it won't look exactly as in this model because the plywood will have straight edges in the future i will show you how to also obtain these beveled edges making the edges beveled as in the 3d representation has some issues because sometimes on one side there's a bevel into one direction and on the other side it can be switched and that uh, generates some problems which will require some attention on the cnc now i need to make the path for the cnc i will select the couch 
copy it and paste it again. So it pasted all the elements. I will hide them again, hide the cutter and the couch. This is the copy of the couch. You can see it here 0.001. I don't want it to be sliced. So I will go to the first boolean and press on X to delete it. I will just have the holes for the rods. And this will be a solid body, not sliced like in the 3D representation. I will also hide the couch that we can see on the screen. Now with the copy of the couch, I will also apply the second boolean. So the holes remain in the same direction that I've created them, otherwise when rotating the couch the holes will be somewhere in the middle of the couch. Let's go to the rotation, minus 90 on the Y. Now let's place it correctly, I will press on the minus Y, raise it up to make sure it goes above the Z, also move it to the left and now it is correctly placed, go to the render tab change the render engine to blender cam create a new operation just a simple cutout profile you can see here in the cam operation setup scroll down after pack curves on sheet i have another tab slice model to plywood sheet the slicing distance i will set it to 36 millimeters which is twice the thickness of the plywood that i'm going to use as i've told you in the beginning of the video i want the slices and the spaces between them to be equal i won't check the 3d slice as i've told you there might be some problems when profiling the 3d so for now i will just use simple straight cut slices after changing the distance i will press this button it doesn't take very long and you can see here a stack of slices there are all the slices that are needed i can now hide the couch and here i have two groups one is let me just lower this a little one is slices the 30 slices needed to make this couch and the other is text which is stacked here somewhere at the origin so i will just delete this entire group i don't need the labels they would be very useful if they were placed on the pieces but otherwise there's no use for them go back to the render tab to the blender cam and let's create the actual cnc milling operations you can see i have one here i have created it just to get the tab where I can make the slicing. If you don't have any operation, the slicing tab will simply not be there. So let's set everything up for this operation. The object is going to be the first slice. Leave it with estimate cut area from model. I'm going to use a profile cutout. The optimization, leave it as is. Maybe just simplify the G code. I will use layers, 10 millimeters layers is kind of too much because I'm going to use a six millimeters cutter. So I will change the layers to six. I want it to start at 18 millimeters because I'm using 18 millimeters plywood. So I will change it to 18 and also change the free movement because it's going to trigger an error if it's lower than the depth start. So the free movement is going to be 28. The max depth will be custom at zero because all these slices are stacked on top of each other and they are going to give a wrong end depth i'm going to leave it as a climb cut the feed rate i'm going to change it depending on your machine you might need a larger or a slower feed rate also the spindle i'm going to change it make it higher change the cutter diameter to six millimeters it's a simple end mill. I'm going to output a Gico trailer on M05 to stop the spindle at end when finishing the job. The cam machine is a preset one. I've shown you in the first video about modifying all these values here and why it is important. Now everything seems okay for my operation. Operation couch 001 is for the first uh, for the first slice. I now select the operation, click on this button which copies this operation. So all I have to do is go to the object and select the next slice. Click on calculate path. You can see the path calculated correctly, also the holes are cut and I will repeat this for every slice. Click on the copy operation, change the object, next is slice number 2, click on calculate path 
and of course export the g-code take into account that you have to already have the file saved somewhere otherwise you will have difficulties in finding the file name and then go to the cnc for each of the 30 operations that are going to be created here cut them on the cnc then assemble everything using the rods i'm currently working on a small script that is going to automatically create all the operations calculate the path and export the files for all the slices when it will be ready i will post it on my patreon page so visit and you can get that file which will save a lot of time in just a couple of days you are going to find it there so this is how you can actually cut the slices on the cnc based on a model not just making it uh, look fancy on the screen in the next episode i'm going to also show you how to make some custom connectors between all these slices but we are going to do them in freecut because for technical things freecut is much faster and easier to work with thank you for watching and see you next time